Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and we are doing another hashtag of Povember 24, which is hosted by Priscilla Elisa Crafton. And we are on the City in the Sea poem, the 14th prompt, which is Grave. My little stash, I have three little pictures of headstones, really cute. And they're already inked up and everything. So let's get to it. I have these little bitty coin envelopes. I purchased these from Amazon. I'll have the link below if you're interested. And let's get three out. These are so cute. Just put that aside. Why don't you go ahead and fold these down. So I'll know the space that I'm working with. These are so fun. I love little things. That is not folded correctly. That will work. Okay, went ahead and folded those. So that when I do the stencil, I'm going to do the bat stencil. I think that will be fun. Let me move this out of the way. And let's do the bat stencil on them all. Uh, let's see. This one is going to go this direction. This one. Well, they may all go that direction. Or this direction. We'll do that. We'll do uh, that one a little bit differently. I think this is the only direction this big one can go in. Okay, let's get some bats on here. I think I will do brown. Just want a hint of bats. I think brown will work. Just some vintage photo. Oh, that's really cute. That one's not very dark. That'll be okay. We'll just go over a little bit like that. There we go, just blend it in a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do all of the stenciling right now so we can already have it done and completed. Move on with the rest of our awesome little project here. Coin envelopes. Couldn't think of what it was for a moment. Let's go ahead and just get the stenciling taken care of. Let's continue on and get the rest of the stenciling completed. Doesn't take very long on these tiny coin envelopes. They're so fun to put little bits and bobs in. In your journals. There. That is so cute. Love it. Okay, this one's going to go this direction. Those are going to go that direction. Do we want to do, yes we do. I know I do. Ink up these edges real quick. Just a bit to grunge it up. How it's looking so far, nice and grungy. So let's see what we have. We have this strip of bats. Scoop these out. I like that, and also have some little strips of my scraps of lace. This one's pretty short. I think it's shorter. Yeah, that one's longer. That can go there. That's a pretty big one. That can go there. Let's see how we would like to do this. Just kind of want to layer it like this. That would be kind of cute. Then we have some... Little Tim Holtz. 
not sure what they call these. Except from the sticker book. What happened that night? I think I like that, just like that. That's really cute. But let's bring this down. Well, it doesn't really have to come down, does it? No, it doesn't. Let's just cut this off right here. We may or may not use it on all of them, but I think it looks cute on this one. Let's go ahead and pop this down in the middle. Bats, bats everywhere, bats. I love bats. There. Now we want this to be about right there. Just want it to be overlapped. Just a little. It might look like a lot, but it just it will just dry and soak up into that lace really quickly. This one go. We want it at the top and the words at the bottom. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Hmm, we have bats. I wonder if we want to put a bat. That might be cute if we do this, this, and a bat. Yeah, why not? Let's just pop this down on the bottom here. Not fussed that it's in the middle or anything. Just want it to be on there. Oops, I do want it to be a little straight. Okay, let's pop this down. That's cute. I like how this is going. This is for hashtag November 24, hosted by Priscilla at Release the Crafton. Pop on over to Priscilla's channel. I will leave a link to her information video about this challenge. And go watch her video and then you can get your prompt list. How do we want to go with the bat? I don't want the bat to be just flying straight up there. Just kind of wanted to be passing through. I think that's cute. That turned out really cute. That little coin envelope is adorable. I like it. Okay, let's do the other two. Since we know what we're doing now, it won't take as long. I don't really like that sticking up like that. I'm going to cut it off right there. a bit much. There we go. Smooth it up there. A little bit bigger piece of lace than the other ones, but that's okay. I love black lace. I don't mind. Okay, let's get this pot 
down. To put this close to the bottom here. Smush it all into that lace. We'll all adhere together. And where? Okay, the other one we have a friend long forgotten. I think that's the one I want, and we don't need a bat on this one. I think that gravestone takes up enough space there we go that one is really cute the little coin envelope okay now we have this little one and the bats are going this direction let's see do we want the bats? Why not? Let's put some bats over here. I think that might look cute. But I want the lace to go this direction. I think oh, that will look pretty good. Try not to stretch it because it's a really stretchy lace. There we go. Put this here, probably. Put that right there. We smash that into the lace. All that glue will adhere together. There, I like that. What else do we have? We have, now I stand where darkness falls. That sounds pretty creepy, doesn't it? I need a bat on this one. Let's see. Oh, that'll be cute. Oops, my fingers have glue on them. <laughs> that will be cute there. And we want to put the sentiment, I guess you would call it, up here. Or the bat should be going this way and the sentiment there. You know what? We can make it go over the graves. That's fine, maybe not. Okay, that's what I like. Go with it. Put it down here on the very bottom, right in the cemetery. There. The little bat up in here, and we will have this done. There or there? This way. Okay, I like that. There, and there is the third one. Just decorated these little coin envelopes or altered the coin envelopes. Not sure what the correct way to say it is, but I think they look really cute. Put it down here. There we go. And this is my take on hashtag Povember24 for the City in the Sea poem. 
and the prompt is gray with just number 14. And I'm back to Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful crafty day.